This trend is definitely one of my favorites, you guys. It's easy, it's stylish, it's chic, and it also happens to be one of the hottest fashion trends for summer. So you wanna get in there and learn how to wear it? Let's do it. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to talk about and share five simple ways that you can wear one of summer's hottest fashion trends and that's the cargo utility trend. So cargo and utility can also be referred to as military inspired, it's specific types of pockets and specific types of colors like tan and khaki, just anything that you would think of when you think of military, kind of casual military clothing. So that happens to be always something you can wear, but right now, particularly on trend and hot, which was really fortunate for me because as some of you already may know, I just did a video on my family trip to Africa. I really needed those cargo utility pieces for our trip to Africa. So I happen to have quite a few of them at the moment and I'll share those pieces with you as we go throughout the video. This is really a great trend for so many women, for so many of you, women of all ages, women of all body shapes. You can find it at every single price point. Um, the only caveat I would say with this trend is that it can skew a little bit masculine. So unless that's your total vibe, I would say add in some feminine touches and that could be like an eyelet blouse under a cargo jacket or your jewelry or your makeup or the way you style your hair. You can juxtapose that masculinity with some feminine pieces or feminine beauty, okay? So let's get started. Mm, okay, number one is cargo pants. So cargo pants, I would say even right now, like this is sort of the new legging, like a jogger or cargo pants are now sort of more in or more on trend than let's say the older school leggings. So a cargo pant is a pair of pants that you really can almost wear like a legging. It's going to be very neutral, versatile. It's going to be very flattering if you get the right cut, the right pair, the right length. And again, the neutral color goes with everything. So here's an example of a pair that I got fairly recently from Banana Republic. It is a pair of cargo pants in petite length with a high waist and a waist belt. And it's just a really chic pair of cargo pants that I also think is very casual, but you can also dress it up. And that's kind of the fun part about cargo pants too, is you can dress them up, you can dress them down. There are a lot of different ways that you can style them. I've styled them a bunch of ways. I showed you guys in a fairly recent video, I'm styling those with some like a white eyelet top. And you see how I took the white eyelet top, which is very feminine, and then mixed it with the cargo pants, which are a little more masculine. So that's the idea of how you style these. You really do think about adding in those feminine pieces. One of the things I'll say about cargo pants is there's a lot of details or a lot of things going on. And with this pair in particular, you've got the belt, you've got the high waist, you've got the pockets. And so you probably wanna go a little more minimal on the top, you know, white top, off, ivory top, could be a t-shirt, could be a light, you know, crop cardigan. So you're thinking in terms of more minimal tops because there are so many details on the pants themselves. I know that after our spring essentials video, a lot of you did buy these cargo pants. So I'd love to hear how you style them and what you think of them. I think they're really awesome pants. They're gonna be the type of pant that you're gonna wear for a long time and they're gonna last for a long time. They're high quality and at an accessible price point. Hopefully they're still available. If they are, we'll put it below in the description box. Okay, the next way that you can wear this cargo utility trend is with cargo jeans. And this is the total wild card. I'm gonna be completely transparent with you. Cargo jeans are very new on the scene. I don't have a pair. I'm not sure I'm going to buy a pair. I might, I might not, but it's an option for you and I just wanted to share it. But we found a really cool pair by Maj that's white. That actually, I, I probably will buy these. I love them so much. And then there's another really funky pair by Alice and Olivia. But this is really dependent on your style, your comfort level, what makes sense for you and your lifestyle and your body shape. You know, the pockets themselves, and I've talked a little bit about this in other videos, but the pocket placement is also really important and something to think about. So if you, you know, in terms of body shape, you carry a lot of the weight in the bottom or you're disproportionately larger on the bottom, you know, having all those pockets added to your lower body may not be ideal. It doesn't mean you count it out. It doesn't mean you can't do it. It's just something to think about. Same with pocket placement up top. If this is the larger um, half for you, you may not want to do pocket placement up top, particularly with a large bust. If you've got pockets like right here, that can add volume. But again, you leave the jacket open, you have a little cami underneath, that could 
really solve that problem pretty easily. There's always a workaround. So even though sometimes I say, hey, you might wanna not do that if you have this body shape, or you know, I give you pointers in terms of body shapes and how to dress, there are always workarounds, and I always talk you through the workarounds too. So I'm not saying don't do something, I'm just saying like well, this is what you should think about when you buy a piece like this based on your body shape. Okay, the third way that you could try this trend is with a cargo jacket. And I did share my new favorite cargo jacket, or new favorite jacket, period, recently by Veronica Beard. And I love this jacket so much. I brought it to Africa with me, wore it pretty much every day on safari. I also have worn it a bunch here in Telluride since we live in Colorado in the mountains, so it's still quite chilly. And the best thing about this jacket is not only is it tailored, creates shape, has a beautiful waistline, has cool details, I love the gold hardware. It also has a zip off bottom, so the longer utility jacket can become a more cropped utility jacket, which makes it a two-in-one. And then the cropped version is really easy to wear with dresses and jumpsuits. It's also great for petites. So it's a super versatile piece that I'm really excited about. It's probably the most exciting piece that I've purchased all season, to be honest with you. I just love, love, love it. So. With this, you could easily wear a little eyelet top underneath or a silky cami underneath or something to add that femininity very simply. But because this jacket is more tailored, it already is inherently a little bit more feminine than let's say your standard straight up cargo jacket. Like I have one by Good American. It's in a khaki green, it's really cool, but it is definitely a lot more boxy and a lot more masculine in terms of feel. So. That's just something to consider when you're thinking about purchasing you know, something in this trend. What is the shape? What is the silhouette? Is that something I'm gonna wear? Another thing to consider, and I talk about this quite a bit, is that you don't have to try this trend. If this trend is like eh, a hard pass for you, that's totally fine. And you may be tempted to write us in the comments that it's a hard pass, but you don't need to do that. <laughs> We love you all, but you don't need to tell us it's a hard pass. Um, it's it's just, you know, it's pick and choose. It's shop the trends. It's what do I like? What lights me up? What makes me feel excited? What puts that little extra spring in my step that day? I really believe in my heart that we're going to get dressed anyway. We're going to go out into this world and things are going to happen. But nobody avoids it. Everybody's got stuff. Everybody faces challenges. Why not dress in a way that elicits a feeling or reinforces a feeling, you know? Like, you wanna feel strong and confident that day, then wear something that makes you feel strong and confident. You wanna feel elegant, feminine, and beautiful. Wear something romantic, wear a floral print, wear something in a pink tone or bright color. You know, you really want to look classy and luxurious, then maybe go with more refined, minimal, tailored pieces. So. Clothes can really do that for you. They can be that armor for you to help you navigate whatever challenges you may face that day. And, you know, one of the things that really has struck me in sort of the last, I don't know, three years is that life is supposed to be fun, you know? <laughs> I know there's a lot of challenges, but it's also supposed to be fun. And so this is an area of your life that's well within your control where you can add a little bit of fun. You can add a little bit of levity. You can add a little bit of play. You know, because as adults, it gets harder and harder to find the play, to find the fun. And so this could be a really simple way to find that fun and play through clothes. At least that's one of the ways I find the fun and the play. I love to play dress up. I always love to play dress up, even when I was a little girl and I'm still playing dress up today and I'm not ashamed of it, you know? Like this, it's just, it's part of what makes me feel joyful and happy. And so I just want you all to have that too. This is another tool that you can have in your toolbox. So for cargo jackets, I showed you that Veronica Beard one that's a two-in-one and then also the Good American Khaki one. So you have two different, really different styles and colors there. Also very different price points, but a cargo jacket, promise you any price point you can find it. This is not a trend that we haven't seen over the last 20 years. Like it's always been around. So you'll find these pieces at more accessible price points. And we will put an option in the description box for less as well. Okay, next up we have cargo style dresses. And I will say that this is probably new-ish. There hasn't been a lot of cargo dresses out there or cargo rompers. It's new, and this is what happens when something is like more on trend, then all of a sudden it's like in every single 
area you see that trend. And so maybe, you know, before we only saw the cargo pants and the cargo jackets, now we're seeing cargo skirts, cargo shorts, cargo dresses, cargo rompers, cargo jumps, the whole thing, right? That's how it works. And then also when something's really on trend, you'll see it in all price points because it will trickle down from the top all the way down. And so that's the other beautiful thing about something being more on trend is that you'll see a variety of options and then also a variety of price points. So I did get a cargo style dress also by Veronica Beard and it sort of matches the jacket, although I haven't really worn them together. It has a cargo skirt and underneath is a pre-layered white button down shirt. So it looks like the shirt is coming all the way down through the skirt and then peeps out a little bit from the hemline, but it's actually a dress and it's all one piece. I really love the way Veronica Beard does the pre-layered pieces. I think it just makes it look more stylish and intentional, but you don't have to do any heavy lifting. And of course, a one and none piece is always the simplest thing to pull out when you're not sure what to wear. So this is a really cool dress and I think it's a really great way to do the cargo trend, especially because it has the built-in femininity of being a dress. I also did get a romper and I got it specifically for the trip to Africa. It's by Jonathan Simkai. We'll say this romper, oh, super cute, no pockets, minimal details, just in that khaki color and that wide lapel. V-neck, you know, belted waist. It's really cute. The only thing is it runs so short. So if you are tall, if you're over 5'4", don't buy it. It's gonna be too short on you, promise. If you're 5'3", 5'2", 5'1", 5'4", 5'11", you know, and so on, it'll be perfect. You'll love it, you'll wear it all summer. Another cargo dress I just wanted to mention is ALC's cargo dress. So I bought an ALC dress like three, was it three? Yeah, three years ago, right before COVID, when we were supposed to go to Africa the first time. I still have that dress. They have a new version of it with some pleats and it's really chic and it's a lovely way to do the cargo trend again with the femininity of the dress. The neutral tone, it really is elongating because of the skin tone color and just a great piece to have again to throw on you know, for whatever you're doing that day. You could do any, you could pretty much do anything in this style dress from running errands to lunch to dinner to dates, the whole thing. All right, be sure to stick around all the way to the end because I really wanna to talk to you guys about YouTube in general and I, I need your help and feedback, okay? So stick with me all the way to the end. So the next way to wear the cargo utility trend is with a jumpsuit. I found the best jumpsuit by Maj, which I always thought was mage, but some, I don't know, it's Maj, okay? So <laughs> it's silky, it's lightweight, it's cool, it's edgy, it's modern. I love the shade of green that it is. You can unbutton it enough so there's really more of an open V-neck line. It has a highlighted waist. I just love, love, love it. I love the leg shape, I love the sleeves, but because it's so paper thin, it's not gonna be hot for summer. So this one is very similar to a black one that I have, and I had the black one first, and then I got the green one, because so I was like, I love the black one so much, I'm gonna get the green one. I've already worn the green one three separate occasions, because you think, oh, well, this piece is sort of specialty, and you're not gonna wear it that much. Uh-uh, I've already found several places to wear it, so I promise you it's gonna be a lot more versatile than you think it's going to be. The legs run long, so when I wear it, I wear about a three inch heel, just for reference, but check the inseam length. Again, with jumpsuits, you know, it's really dependent on your height and your torso length, and you know, it could be a hard fit issue for you, but I think the way this one's cut, it'll fit a lot more people than normal. So I think it's worth a shot even if you have a longer torso. By the way, by simply wearing the colors, tan, khaki, that is inspired by this trend as well. So you could do something in those colors that doesn't have all the pockets. So for example, I have a pair of page joggers that I also brought with me on my trip to Africa that I wear all the time. And those are really minimal. There aren't a lot of pockets, but it's still inspired by this trend because of the color. So that's another really simple way that you could wear this trend. I think this is one of those trends where it's worth taking advantage of, again, just because of the ease, because of the fact that it's really neutral and versatile, because that it's casual and it works for different ages and different body shapes, and the accessibility of the pricing. I think it's just a great trend to try. Only though, if it speaks to you, okay? <laughs> okay, so I wanna talk a little bit about YouTube, wanna get your thoughts and feedback, maybe your help. So for the last, I would say six, seven months, we haven't really been growing that much here on YouTube, which is really a first for us. We, we really have been growing quite a bit year over year, and this year it's really 
mm, more of a plateau, like we're kind of break even every month. And I'm not worried about it, concerned about it. I just wanted to share this with you guys. And I think, you know, a lot of you will ask like, how can I help? How can I support? I think the best way for you all, and especially those of you who've been with us for a while, if you feel called to, to support us and help us, we would really appreciate that, is to share my channel over on your Facebook page or with your friends or your family so that they know about the community. I've been in this space for a long time, nine years now, so I know how to play the game. And the problem is, I just don't feel like the game is an in integrity for me anymore. You know, I went to a workshop recently, a woman's like empowerment workshop, sp very spiritual. And the woman who is hosting the workshop, her name is Susie Batiste, and she is the founder of Poopery, which is a huge product. I'm sure many of you have heard about it. But she told this story about how with her company, at one point, they were marketing the product as, you know, mask embarrassing bathroom odor. And she talked to the marketing team and she said, I get why you're doing this. Of course, that's what it does, but I don't want to sell shame. And so that really just got me thinking about why I've made so many pivots here on YouTube and, you know, not just with titles, but with thumbnails and with content itself, because the whole game of negativity and don't do this and don't look frumpy and this is gonna age you, and that's how you get people to come watch your channel. That's how you get the views. That's how you get a viral video. I know because again, I've been in the space for nine years, but it just is out of alignment and out of integrity for me now. So I would really like to try to grow in a way that feels authentic, aligned, and empowering, and inspiring, and uplifting versus you know trying to shame people to dress a certain way, like don't do this and don't do that. So I hope that you all have noticed that shift in our content and in our presentation. That's a shift that we're committed to. And I also hope that if you feel called that you will, that you will share my channel, share one of my videos so that we can attract more like-minded women to the community who really are interested in, you know, living their best lives, like living in a way, uh, living in wholeness, living in peace, living in joy, living in play, living in fun and wanting to look amazing while doing it. So thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. I love each and every one of you and I will see you next time. Bye.